Grace, it's M, and today I'm going to show you how to make this really cute flower, but in orange. So you'll need paper. It's not a regular size of paper, it's like a square. But if you wanted, you could use a regular piece of paper and the flower would be bigger. Or you could use like a really small piece of paper, like smaller than this, and it would be like a little bud, of, like a flower. So that would still be really cute. So then you'll also need a little piece of tape scissors, and a pencil. The one thing I did wrong last time was forget to put my tape on the edge of my table. So even though I didn't do anything yet to the paper, I'm just going to put it here so my flower won't get messed up. It's not messed up, but it will be a little bit easier and it will be a little bit tighter. But you can do it however you want. So now time for cutting the paper. So you want it to be like a circle or an oval, so you can draw it with a pencil, but I'm just going to cut around, trying to make this as rounded as possible. When you're done, it should resemble this somehow. It's not like a total oval or circle, but it's a lot more rounded on all the sides. So now it's time to draw your rose in like the cyclone part. So you're going to Put your hand down so it won't be like shaky lines and you're going to make a pretty big cyclone and then you can lift your hand up as you need to go around and you're going to do this until you hit the edge of the paper. So obviously it's not perfect, it's a little like not even on this side to this side so now I'm just going to make it a little bit more even by cutting this side to fit this side. Okay, so I think it looks a little bit more proportionate now. And so the, it ended right here. So that's where I'm going to take my scissors and I'm just going to cut along this line. So you're going to go all the way into the center. Like this. As you can see, I finished cutting, and it's not perfect, but that's okay because I'm going to start rolling it now to make it look like a rose, and this will be in the center. So you're going to start, you're just going to like fold it over. Right now it's not going to be that round, but it will be later when you finish it. So you're just going to roll it from the inside out, and try not to rip it. Or like this, it doesn't look that good, but it'll look better when you get all the way around. When you're done, it should look something like this. More like a really tall rose instead of like a pretty rose going out like this so you can push up. So the trick is to cup your hand, just let it unravel a little bit like this. And now you're going to tighten the bottom up. So now at the bottom you're just going to pull tighter. Like this. See it looks a lot more like a rose now. And you can do that another time if you want. So ready? Not much happened. That's okay. So you're just going to finish wrapping it up. And take your tape that was under here, put it on your finger and then you're gonna take your scissors and cut the end off because that's not very pretty. And then you're gonna tape right here. And tuck that under and voila, it's a beautiful rose. It looks a little smaller than this because I trimmed it a little bit more. But that's okay. I think they're still really cute. And you can like put these in your locker or you could take a couple branches from outside, tape these on, and you could stick them on your wall or something like that. And so send us your pics at our Instagram at m.k.lifestyles with a Z. Or you can like make a video if you want. But I hope you like them. See, and they're like, they can fall out. 
They're really fun to play with. So yeah. Mm -hmm.